This is the Brock string. We're going to be using this to teach you the feeling of turning your eyes in. Go ahead and hold one end of the string up to your nose with the green bead closest to you. The other end can be held by a grown-up or tied to a non-moving object such as a doorknob or the back of a chair. Make sure that as you hold the string that it's tight and not loose like this. Also, make sure that the string is pointed slightly downwards like this. Next, you want to space the beads about 20 centimeters apart from each other. If you have a hard time doing this, go ahead and ask a grown-up to help you. Now let's begin. This is how you train with the Brock string. First look at the middle yellow bead. Now look at the green bead. Then look at the red bead. And again look at the yellow bead. Keep practicing by looking from bead to bead. Go from the yellow to the green to the red and then to the yellow again. This is what you will see when you train with the Brock string. First, look at the middle yellow bead. It should be single and clear. Now still looking at the middle yellow bead, notice that there are now two red beads and two green beads. Also notice that there are now two strings and that they form an X pattern. The middle of the X should cross at the bead that you are looking at. In this case, it will cross at the yellow bead. Now look at the red bead. While looking at the red bead, notice that there are now two yellow beads and two green beads. Also notice that there are still two strings and that they form an X pattern. The middle of the X should cross at the bead you are looking at. In this case, it should cross at the red bead. Now look at the green bead. It should be single and clear. While looking at the green bead, you'll notice that there are now two red beads and two yellow beads. You should also notice that there are still two strings and that they form an X pattern. The middle of that X should now cross at the green bead, the bead that you are looking at. As you are looking at each bead, there are three goals. The first goal is to keep the bead that you are looking at clear and single. The second goal is, while the bead that you are looking at is clear and single, the other beads you are not looking at should be doubled. For example, when you look at the middle yellow bead, keep looking at it, you will notice that there will be two green beads and two red beads. The third goal is to notice that there will be two strings and that the strings will make an X pattern. The middle of this X should cross at the bead you are looking at. When you're able to jump from bead to bead and accomplish the three goals, the next step is to make the Brock string a little bit more challenging. What you want to do is push the green bead closer to your nose. Keep pushing the green bead closer until you see two green beads. At that point, stop and slowly push the green bead away from your nose until you see one green bead again. Then go ahead and practice looking from the green bead to the yellow bead to the red bead when you're able to jump from bead to bead and accomplish the three goals, go ahead and try pushing the green bead closer to your nose. Stop when it first becomes two green beads, then slowly push it back until you see one again. Keep practicing this until you're able to push the green bead closer and closer to your nose. If both eyes aren't seen, you might see something like this. Then go ahead and try this neat trick. Try blinking both eyes until you notice two strings making an X pattern. If you're having trouble getting the middle of your X to cross at the bead you're looking at, and it's crossing behind that bead, this just means your eyes are not turning in enough. Try this neat trick. Imagine that there is a bug sitting at the middle of your X, and imagine that it's slowly crawling towards your nose. Follow that bug until the middle of your X crosses at the bead you want to be looking at. If the middle of your X crosses in front of the bead that you are looking at, this just means that you are turning your eyes in too much. Use the same trick by imagining that there is a bug in the middle of your X and that it is slowly crawling away from your nose. Keep following this bug until the middle of your X now crosses at the bead you are looking at.
This is what your eyes look like when training with the Brock string. First look at the far red bead. Then look at the middle yellow bead. Now look at the near green bead. Notice how the eyes are moving in.